the first place we think to turn when we're looking for a new pet, but those animal rescue groups play an important role in helping our four-legged friends and the feathered and scaly ones, too. As Chase Moffat shows us, the rescue groups took center stage today at the Nebraska Humane Society. Dogs, dogs, and more dogs, and some cats, even an owl. All these animals are from one of the 28 animal rescue groups hosted by the Nebraska Humane Society. This is a great opportunity for our rescues as we can get our dogs out here and show that we're interested in helping these dogs. Kristen, like all the rescue groups, specializes in one breed of dog. Wagon train helps carriers, but while all the breeds are unique, the goal is the same. We don't just put any dog with any family. We're looking for the right match and the right temperament, so we're going to work with people who are looking for that, not just for a quick pet. Like Mark and his mother Mary, they're looking for a new addition to play with Mark's two-year-old dog, Jasper. We're looking for a medium-sized dog, one that Jasper likes to jump on dogs, so one that won't snap at him, and one that's very even-tempered, and one that's great for kids. Mark and his mother said they came today because they wanted a rescue dog. Like Abby, the five-year-old Siberian husky surrendered by the owner. One eye had already been removed um, because of the glaucoma, and um, but she had glaucoma in the other eye. Abby is now completely blind, with both eyes removed. However, Jackie says without the Nebraska Man Society, Abby might not have received the care she needed. But she would not have done well in a kennel situation, in a shelter situation, you know, where there was a lot of loud noises and. Um, you know, she needed she needed to be in a home and a little bit more quiet environment. In Omaha, I'm Chase Moffat, Channel 6 News.